Hello everybody, my name is Catherine Rayner and I'm a writer and illustrator and I'm going to talk to you to, uh, just now about my newest book which is called My Pet Goldfish and it is out in November 2021. Um, many people don't know that I have a secret hidden passion for goldfish. I've always had them, I've always had a fish tank and um, I now pretend that my fish tank is for my children but it's kind of mine it's secretly mine um, and we have two fish in it currently and um, they're called Barry and Craig named by my children Richard now lives in a pond which you'll learn about in the story but um, I thought you might to just see a little bit of behind the scenes artwork um, I'll show you a little bit of inside the book but I was going to um, give you a sneaky peek at some of the original drawings and uh, some of the ideas behind each of the pages in the book. Um, one of my favourite things about the cover is you can probably see it's got really lovely pearlescent bubbles and sparkles. Can you see those? I was really pleased with them and I've only actually got my hands on a copy uh, yesterday so I'm really excited to see it. And the idea of the book is that it's, a, uh, it's Richard the Fish and he lives in an aquarium in the kitchen of a little girl. And uh, when he arrives he's just a baby and um, we learn all about him and he grows and grows and grows there are his friends and there she's talking to him through the glass sometimes Richard has a sleep he gets fed but he know that uh, the little girl owner knows that when he's too big for the tank he's going to go and live in the pond with all the other fish and he'll have lots of friends and there's lots and lots of different types of fish in this pond and all through the book you get all these little facts that say things like there are over 200 different kinds of goldfish which I still find a bit mental to be honest, it's crazy um, and as you go through the book Richard grows and uh, there's also kinds of facts goldfish can grow up to 30 centimetres long um, with the story in big writing and then at the end there's some nice facts uh, about what you'd need if you were to invest in a goldfish. And the back end papers, I love end papers. Um, I've made them the pond. So you go from fish tank to pond, which I really loved. Um, and I've just been through my drawers to have a look at the artwork because about, I finished this book probably two years ago um, because of recent happenings, shall we say, publication has been delayed and delayed so it's been a really nice uh, surprise I suppose looking back through him and it's been a very very long wait and so I haven't looked at the original artwork for so so long it's a real treat to get it back out and here is the very first drawing I did of Richard how well does that work in the light there he is um, and you can see all the different colours that I used and I used these inks to paint him they're FW Della Rowney acrylic inks and I use all different colours um, to paint Richard. I think he's actually got about 15 different colours in him and I mix them all up. I generally don't draw straight from the, paint straight from the bottle. And I also use these watercolour pencil crayons to, um, to work into him. And you can see that he's got little squiggles on him and um, other details such as his gills and his fins. And these are generally drawn in these kind of pencil crayons and paintbrush and I use these fine liners I really love them they're micron what are they? pigma micron and they're really really small and you can do details um, on them and I also love Palomino Blackwing pencils so much so that this is the size of the pencil that I'm currently using I use them right till the end so this is the main character who's Richard uh, but the nice thing about this book was that I got to draw loads and loads of different kinds of fish and because I'm such a fish geek true fact um, I just loved this project um, this was one of my favorites the colors in her it's really difficult to show you on screen I wonder if I turn this light up if I can show you Is that any better um, all her bumps and patterns and markings and they were just a joy to paint. Each fish took a very, very long time. And I dread to think how many different colours is in this. This is the actual painting and you can see that it shimmers a little bit. But that was one of my favourite pictures for the book. 
Um, but fish are fascinating because they come in all different shapes and sizes and colours and, oh, well, everything really. They're, they're a fascinating breed that people don't really think about much. And he was so lovely to draw because of all the circles on his on his body. Um, I remember doing this book and it each drawing took so long, but I was so pleased with each one. And sometimes I wish I kept these nice, those all kind of splodges and ink marks because I work on them for so long. So I painted these and scanned them in and they became the actual artwork for the book. Um, and then when you get to Rich, oh, well, here's a couple more actually. A big fish. And goggle-eyed fish. I loved him. He was really, really fun to paint. Can you see? Um, when it came to drawing Richard, I was really quite concerned about how to get character into a goldfish without making him look too cartoony and uh, or too or too full of character because goldfish. Are, They've got limited facial expressions. You can tell a lot through their body language, and I've learned so much about them. Um, but their facial exp expressions, I usually can play around with whiskers or tails or ears or paws, and you can express the whole mood of an animal through the way it rests its body on the ground, whether it's big, sad paws or um, lying down or, or, or whether it's a light touch, but it's in a really, really good mood and it's skipping. But with a fish, you're kind of a bit limited. However... It was really good fun and I really, really enjoyed it. And I hope that there's just enough character in Richard because it's a non-fiction book, but also to make him engaging for children and for adults, because I do happen to know quite a few other fish keepers who uh, are equally fond of their fish tank as I am. So um, Richard, the other nice thing for me about drawing Richard was just that I, I never get to paint characters in these colours because I usually paint natural uh, animals. Um, I, I tend to be quite limited to browns, golds, greys, greens for natural land uh, and things like that. So I really, really enjoyed the colour palette um, in these. I also enjoyed, this was great fun, painting all the rocks for the fish tanks. So I got to really, really experiment with textures. Um, so that one was really fun. I'll see if I can find some more. It's so nice for me to be able to put that through oh, loads of textures and bubbles for the fish tanks. What else is in here? More li tiny little fish drawings. Oh, the snails. Oh, more little stones and little fish. Um, because if you look through the book, you'll see that I do very much enjoy a bit of stony, I'm doing it this backwards, a bit of stony background. It's just, it's just really, really nice for me to do. And uh, also the amount of times, I forgot how many times I had to draw Richard to make sure that I got him right because his eye needed to be in the right place to, to, for, for character continuity. His eye always needed to be in the right place and his body the same shape and he grows throughout the book. So I had to make sure that he's growing at a, 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 a realistic rate and that that fits the text. Um, there's a few more little drawings of Cheeky Richard. I don't know if you can see them. There he is. Um, and I'll just show you another couple of things quickly. There's another little drawing and I tend to use the, the corner of the page to test my paints out. Um, before I go on to do the artwork for a book, I do the whole book in thumbnails so I know that each uh, page is going to work really nicely and it will link very very nicely with the next one, whether you're going forwards or even backwards, so that every time you turn the page, it's an interesting surprise, it's a different composition, it's a, a an exciting moment when you flip over that piece of paper. So I do about five or six different rounds of these, and I tend to stick them to my wall, which is why this has got a bit of tape on it, and um, to remind myself. And sometimes they change as we go through. I actually found a was one of the cover roughs I did. As you can see, these books go on a quite a bit of a journey to what they end up being. And um, I'll just show you one or two more things. Oh, um, oh it's funny when you see the drawings that have gone wrong. Oh, and here we go. This is 
is one of the drawings of the little girl. And because her hair is drawn in charcoal, I had to sellotape this over because I really, really don't want to smudge her her hair. And she's such a sweet girl. I had such a lovely time based uh, drawing her hair. And she's actually based on one of my friend's children, who is now quite grown up. But um, she was a real cutie. And I just took so many photos of her, luckily, when she was little. So I'll just show you one or two more things. There he is. And what I should do, and what I will do after this, is, oh, well, at some point, is I must, must, must stick everything into a sketchbook. Um, because otherwise I tend to lose my drawings. And this was quite an unusual book for me because I put it all together on my computer, um, which I'd said I'd never do before. But um, I wanted to try it out. And because it was quite a, because it was such an unusual book, I thought this was a really good, a really good starting point. So there's a little sneaky peek behind the scenes um, and I will do some life storytelling of this book on uh, Facebook and Instagram and maybe even on YouTube I don't know but we thought it'd be really nice um, to give you a sneaky peek first of Richard so you could get to know him a little bit he's full of character and he's got a very good memory I hope you know and um, I hope you really really enjoy this book and I hope that you enjoy all the colours and the textures and all the interesting facts and if you're not into goldfish, I hope it makes you like them a lot and realise there's lots more to them than meets the eye. Thank you so much.